Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 12th and final episode of Sentouin Hakenshimas. And last episode we went on a bit of a like a raiding mission of some ancient runes, I I believe. And we kind of like uh sat back and let the the bad guys quote unquote uh do it for us and then we just kind of like uh, snuck in behind them and tried to steal it uh, under from under the noses it did not quite go well. We now have Russell in the mech and attacking and uh you know uh, what was her name? The demon girl. She uh, kind of disappeared. I mean, did not without losing a little bit of something, a little bit of something. But uh, yeah, she mostly got away. And uh, now I think we're just like trying not to get it to, to squashed by Russell Mech thingy. I, th I think that's where he left off. So let's jump on in and see how things go. Three, two, one, play. Bum, 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 bum. Sentoin Haken Shimas. Combatants will be dispatched. Are they looking at the mech? They are looking at that mech. <laughs> Evil maniacal laughter. Yeah, what do we do now? What are you doing? Just more stuff to sell on eBay. I thought I think we shouldn't. <laughs> That's a good point. Would it work on an Android? Let's find out. Do it for science, ironically. Gotta be up, gotta pick it. Wait, was waiting for it. Picked it up. <laughs> oh, that is fall. It fell. <clears throat> it fell. Right on her head. So I get a concussion right there. Yeah, it's I think it's kind of the running joke of her character. Also, snow running around and gathering the pieces. It almost reminds me of uh, the one girl from Kimono Michi, I think it's called. Uh, picking up the sword to sell it. I think there's someone similar characters too. I mean, that that is a good point. <laughs> oh yeah, can't can't make worse. So, uh, that was a bit of a mood shift. <laughs> Probably. Which one's Astroth again? <laughs> Use this. I mean, he's not wrong, but ouch. I mean, he's trying to be a cool protagonist character right now. Don't, don't, don't rain on this parade. <laughs> I think we can buy it with evil points to help us in the situation. Uh, I mean, if we have to. Also, yeah, wasn't that mentioned earlier? Ah, uh, okay. This is a bit of a wiggle room there. That's a good point. Won't need emergencies. Otherwise, you'd overdo it. I'm we survived, right? It wasn't that bad. <laughs> she believes in you. I mean, that's kind of what she said. <laughs> uh, he's a bit of a cop. <clears throat> <laughs> Everyone is well aware. I'm curious, though. 
<laughs> but one thing we can rely on <laughs> personality issues aside the strong partner let's go strong partner and smart partner the ultimate duo almost like pinky in the brain sort of sort of not really and I'm also, how many did you, did you pick up? How heavy is that bag? I bet we'll lose it before this is over. The bag. <laughs> I always wanted to just like have a giant mech and just like punch a building to death. What a, what a bargain, an offer. Well, that sounded like an attack. <laughs> Just threw your minions back at you. Let's go. That could have been phrased better. <laughs> I mean, that was okay. It was an intentional phrasing. Okay, gotcha. This is solar powered, then it could run for a while. More of attrition. Oh. Well, that's a problem. Can we suck out some from him? That was close. <laughs> hey, stand still so I can step on you. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> hey, I almost felt that. <laughs> Antagonizing him. You're very easily provoked. Luckily for us. Oh, that oh, was a flashbang. <laughs> my eyes! My eyes! <laughs> well, not all of us have a giant, ancient, powerful mech at our disposal. Gotta improvise a bit. Oh, just a bunch of random weapons? <laughs> well, that one looks like it can pack a wallop. <laughs> right at the camera. I don't know how much damage it'll do to a mech, though, honestly. And I'm not, it's not just like a super powerful ancient weapon mech. But we got a lot of stuff. I mean, eventually it's got to wear it down, right? Is that is that the logic? Because so far it hasn't been doing a lot. <laughs> what? That's a good question. Is there another play at work here? What's that? Oh, just set okay, footsteps. I thought maybe somebody was hidden from behind or something. <laughs> Alice is what we call her. <laughs> also, don't think she's much smaller than you. I think you're comparable size. I can't quite tell if it's doing damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, it actually is doing a bit. We should like make an opening and then go inside and do the damage from the inside. That that'd be smart. <laughs> And watch out for that Achilles heel. <laughs> More provocation. Yeah, I gotta go step on him after that. <laughs> His jimmies are very rustled right now. Oops, sorry. Oof. Does that squish him? <laughs> It's like a sideways smile. Well, yeah, I actually did squish him. I I mean, I'm sure he's okay, but I had to sting a little bit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, buy this one there. Wouldn't dream of it. Gotta have a slow death to give him a chance to escape. Ooh. Uh. 
Yeah. He's a bit more genre savvy, I think, than Russell is. That sounds big. Uh, do we summon like an even bigger mech? Because <laughs> that'd be funny. Uh, what, what do we what do we have over here? I think I think that actually might be what it is. Wow. Actually, kind of looks like a like an insect or something. Like it doesn't look humanoid. <laughs> like you want to play with mechs? We can play with mechs. <laughs> Like how it looks even more like a bad guy weapon than than the one we're fighting. <laughs> Your timing's impeccable. Now can we get aboard that thing? <laughs> you know, for safety. Can I give a thumbs up? Or just a fist up? Oh, uh, there's a thumbs up. Which we needed that. Now here we go, mech on mech! But they're very different types of mech, so it'll be interesting to see how they fight. Damn. <laughs> right after, we'll be back right after this commercial break. Okay, guess it's over, just one hit, we're done. Alice, are you giving CPR or? Oh, she's just uh, on top of him. Maybe that actually was what she was doing. Somebody would inject me with some healing nano machines. <laughs> There's nothing really to damage in there. Inject some healing nano machines into that brain. Yeah, it was like one hit, a big explosion, then just kind of ended. Well, that is what I expected, but I kind of wanted to see it in more detail. But, cool. Wasn't the big thing in Konosuba also called Destroyer? The one I dealt with near the end of Season 1. Like, I don't think it looked like the same. It might have looked somewhat similar. So it may have been a reference to that. And those feet. Those hands. That face. <laughs> okay. I was curious what happened to Russell. <laughs> I mean, it concerns me to hear that. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much end of the show. <laughs> well, um, I, that, that's a good question. And he'd be mad, you'd be mad if he did that to you. <laughs> I, I'm sure that's what it is. <laughs> okay, that was definitely a Konosuba reference right there. No doubt about that one. <laughs> I mean, Destroyer was a fairly generic name, so I wasn't quite sure about that one. Def def definitely wasn't. Konosuba reference. I think that ship sailed a while ago. <laughs> thank, thank you, partner. <laughs> Out of the question. Probably shouldn't settle the phrase it that way, but... <laughs> I 
He is lucky. <laughs> Right? <laughs> I mean... Oh, uh, what's... Uh, I know what it's referencing, I don't remember what it's called. I want to say Tango. But yeah, that's, you should always apply that to any Android, really. I mean, it's a design flaw if you don't. I don't know if I would count that previous scene as um, heartwarming or not, but... Didn't even finish saying it! I can use some water. Well, you should be. That easily means that maybe something could do it. That there's a sub negotiation room. <laughs> I mean, didn't he kick you in the junk last episode? You seem pretty bothered by that. Uh, is Tiger Man going to try something? Uh, <laughs> you might not want to deal with Tiger Man. He probably has a very special type of torture. In that adventure, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you might want to prepare yourself. Uh, yeah, the way he's looking at you, uh, there's reason to be concerned. Because you are pretty cute. <laughs> yeah, not only that. Yeah, you may it may end up regretting that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh God! Yeah, are you panicking yet? Yeah, this would be a good time to panic. <laughs> I'm not sure I believe that. Because <laughs> he says it as he literally breaks bars. You know what? That's, that's not a deal breaker. I would still hit that, I'll be honest. <laughs> a trap is okay too. It's funny because the phrase usually a cat is okay too, or fine too. It's like opposite reversal. I don't think it is, man. <laughs> Aren't you glad you're so open-minded? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> it's probably not the end he was hoping for, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Is that drool? Is that drool? <laughs> I think I'll do whatever you tell him to do right about now. <laughs> it's been a rough day for rough Russell. Well, you need to stop getting knocked out. You are barely relevant to this whole show. <laughs> Multi level marketing scheme. I can't follow two conversations at once. Can't do that. 
<laughs> I don't know if anyone else would be so tolerant of her. That's not how I would describe this, but... <laughs> Just nobody pay attention to this. <laughs> Try to crawl to escape. Right. <laughs> oh, those are pretty cute. Actually pretty warm. <laughs> it's an odd form of torture. Forcibly putting socks on a girl. And... They're they're on. <laughs> uh, oh my god, something is happening. Uh, so is it? So it's a real thing, or? <laughs> yeah, we don't want to be near this girl when she blows. Oh damn, she really blew up. Just put its socks on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, kinda. <laughs> I made out fit though. Oh my god, Russell's in it! Oh wow, okay. that's a dress he meant. I made out fit. Okay. Okay. He looks great in it. <laughs> Last a lot. Those are all three of the Elite Four, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's never calm. Things are never calm. What's going on over here? <laughs> Chick slide jiggle. So yeah, other agents. <laughs> and is that no, we got some left. Our Kisaragi base. We're not gonna talk about how we just kind of blew up, uh, blew up Grim. <laughs> not, not today. That'll take a while. <laughs> Now you're thinking like a real Kisaragi member. <laughs> and... And that really was the end. Okay, well, that was each... That was the 12th and final episode of Sentoin Haken Shimas. <clears throat> the, the combatant that gets dispatched. Uh, that, that's, that, was, that, was, that was a show. Okay, so, I mean, this is our final episode. I 
you know, I was kind of hoping we'd have some big epic battle, and we we did. Like, I wasn't sure exactly what the overall plan was. I knew we were going to expend a lot of points, right? <clears throat> we had uh, we had six kind of being a decoy for a while, getting stepped on. I mean, he avoided getting stepped on for a while, but eventually kind of got squished and picked up. But luckily, he bought enough time for Alice to show up in her big old destroyer mech, which may or may not have been a reference to the destroyer in uh, Konosuba, because I definitely had a few Konosuba references in this episode, that's for sure. So she just shows up, ready to attack, and one hit, poof, whole place just kind of blew up, and we woke up with the conflict being resolved and Russell being captured, right? Cat Russell was in the prison. We went over there to give him an offer, and he was pretty uh, stubborn initially, right? <laughs> you know, he didn't want to take any offers, but uh, his tune changed rather quickly once we sent in the Tiger Man, because, <laughs> you know, just, uh, well, what was the quote they said? If we're gonna give in, give in quickly or whatever. But yeah, just definitely some some advice to take for sure. Because eventually he uh, he caved once his big old tiger man's like mounting him. That's about the time you're, when you're like, you know what? Never mind. Uh, my loyalties aren't as strong as I thought they were. I'll I'll do whatever you want. Just please get this man off of me. That that, that, that kind of scenario, right? So so that's that's how that went down. So, I'm really not that much to say about the episode. We actually we had a decent amount of like um, conversations, like heart to heart conversations, like the the partner partner bond between Six and Alice. What was pretty great, right? You know, they are they make a good team, right? That's 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 the overall takeaway. I mean, he there's there's like some modifications he would want on Alice ideally, but still, she is his precious partner. So, lucky for him, she's an android. Otherwise, she would get really angry at him. So, good for her. Also, he blew up Grim. We like forcibly put clothes on her, on her feet, and just poof, she kind of went pop. I mean, she'll, she'll she's fine. I mean, she resurrects or whatever, right? That's how it works. Like it's been so while so long since Grim was actually relevant. I kind of don't remember exactly all of her mechanics, but I think she comes back when she dies. I, th I think that's a thing with her character. But also, we did successfully get Russell in a made outfit, so that's 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 something I needed in my life. So I, I'm I'm glad I'm glad we got that. But yeah, I do think that's everything I got to say on the episode, really. And so, do I have any thoughts? To, do I have any overalls? Any th thoughts overall on the show? I mean, I probably do. Like, it was pretty clear watching the show. This is definitely has some of that Konosuba feel to it, with some direct references. This episode straight up had Chun Chun and Madu in it. So, yeah, definitely some intentional Konosuba references throughout. Some probably went over my head because I wasn't really like actively looking for them, but they were definitely there. Uh, for sure. You know, even the music it was either very similar or the same as in Kodosuba, so some of it, right? So, but yeah, very, very interesting, fun cast of characters. Very, they definitely have that Konosuba chaotic energy sort of thing where the group doesn't really get along super well. There's a lot of conflict and tension and yelling at each other, right? That uh, it's always enjoyable to see. For sure, and it was it was also like sort of an isekai show, right? Like they teleported to a new world to to like take it over essentially, like get it ready, or get ready for Kisaragi or whatever, however you, however you want to phrase that. It was like a scouting spy sort of mission, and they kind of like incorporated themselves in the local military forces to kind of get involved in their political the conflicts, right? Supposedly they're to help them, but also making things worse. You know, he has an ambassador role, but he made things so much worse, like. Yeah, six. Uh, he, he's quite the character, right? He's definitely like a scumbag sort of character, like probably more so than Cosmo, I would say. <laughs> I, I, I would, I would say more so. You know, Cosmo never put a junk in anyone's head for, for, for one thing, right? I think he's yeah, definitely a tier or two above Cosmo in the scumbag territory for sure. And Snow, I don't know if I'd say she was more or less scummy than than Aqua. She's obviously meant to be a kind of a similar sort of character as Aqua. I can't, I'm actually talking, I'm actually not sure. I think she's at a comparable level as far as scamminess goes, for sure. It's a shame we didn't have a Megamine in this show. Who was, who would be the closest to Megamine? Uh, I would, uh, Grim, maybe. I mean, in some aspects, you know, in the sense where she's not all that useful, very situational, you know, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe the Chimera would be a bit more of a Megamine character. I'm not sure, but. Well, that's probably a mistake to try to shove everyone into a Konosuba framework, but so for some characters it works, you know, like with Kazuma and Six and and uh, Snow and Aqua. Like, those ones are the obvious ones, but uh, not everyone has to be shoved into a Konosuba role. But but yeah, a lot of, it was a comedy show, very crazy, just very 
chaotic, crazy show where you're not always sure what's even going to happen. And obviously, Kisaragi kind of being an evil organization definitely added an extra layer of interest to the show because they're not like the protagonist. The group isn't like a goody two shoes group, you know, that is trying to fight for their own company's self interests, right? So that alone made it pretty different in a lot of in a lot of ways. I did like the system where we could just like order things with evil points. I mean, both those things are interesting aspects. Being able to order things from another world and having like specifically doing evil deeds essentially as a currency to like both those aspects are pretty cool. Add an extra thing to it because it just led him to like just in certain situations randomly doing bad things to to rack up those points. That definitely came into play during the desert survival arc. So that was one thing I definitely thought was pretty cool about the show. Also, a little bit of uh, tension between our android girl and our magic girl, you know, because they're kind of like two opposites. And also, the Tiger Man was a very interesting inclusion into the show. <laughs> like, I don't know, that was definitely surprising, for sure. But, yeah, I don't really have too much more to say about it. It was just a, a very crazy, comedy, chaotic sort of show. And I had fun, fun watching it, for the most part. And <laughs> I'm hopefully you enjoyed me watching it as well. If you made it this far, I, I assume you did, but... Yeah, this is it for now, and yeah, we've kind of gotten to the point of the sh of the sh of the of time when we're kind of like ending off all the current seasons show, and I will probably pick up more shows uh, next season. So if you enjoyed my style of reacting in general, you might want to stick around and see what I end up reacting to for next season. But that is it for now. If you enjoyed the video, I do hope you click the like button and support me on Patreon and continue to watch other videos of mine. So until then, bye bye.